Hello! On this video, I want to show you how to make a simple Hello World program using MVC.NET Core. And here I have a Visual Studio 2017. And before you do anything, make sure you update your Visual Studio. To do that, go to Tools, Extensions and Updates. And right here in Updates, make sure there is no update available for you. I just updated mine, so I have nothing here. And now I'm going to create a project. And I'm going to choose the ASP.NET Core web application. And now I'm going to click on empty. Also notice that I'm using .NET Core and ASP.NET Core 2.0. If you don't have this, there should be a little link right here for you to update. Click OK. And on the project, I'm going to right click, add a new folder. I'm going to name this controllers. And on this folder, I'm going to right click and add a controller. And make sure you choose full dependencies because that's going to add all the configuration and all the package that we want. So click on Add. And now if you notice right here on the Solution Explorer, because you click on Full Dependencies when you're adding the controller, there will be a lot of files and settings and folders created for you. So this is a good thing. And right here on the scaffolding file, there's some message for you here saying what you need to change in order to enable MVC in your project. So the first thing is to add a constructor. Right here, step 1.1, add a constructor. So I'm going to copy this block of codes, and then I'm going to open the startup file, and I'm going to paste right here. So I just pasted this block of codes. And there is this red squiggly here. And that's because we're missing the configuration. And right here on the top, I'm going to put the using the configuration. So using Microsoft.extensions.configuration. And now it's happy right here. So I'm going to go back to the scaffolding. The second step is to add the framework services. So I'm going to copy these two lines and then back to the startup inside the configuration services method I'm gonna paste that code and the last step is on the configure method so I'm gonna copy all the contents from inside the configuration method and I'm gonna replace by these items here so the startup file is used to put the settings and configurations for your project. And the thing that I am interested the most here on this file is the route. So on the template here, I have controller equals home, and then I have action equals index. Now the home controller and the index action is very important for now. And you're going to see why. So first, let's create a home controller. So right here in the controllers folder, I'm going to right click and add. And at this time, I am not going to click on controller. I'm going to click on new item. And I'm going to search for controller. And then I'm going to choose the MVC controller class. Now the name of the file is homecontroller.cs. Every controller file, we have the word controller in it. So this is our home controller. So I click on add. And there is an action result method right here called index. So this name index has to match the action index. And the reason it has to match is because this is the file that it's going to be loaded first. So now on views, 
I'm going to right click and add a new folder and I'm going to call this folder home. The reason I'm going to call this folder home is because there is a controller called home and also on the default map the controller is home. Every time this project runs it's going to look for the home controller and then it's going to look for the index file to load first. So we have the home controller here now we have to create the index file. So I'm right here in home, I'm going to right click and add a new item. And I'm going to search for view. And I'm going to choose MVC view page. And the name must be index right here. So click on add. And here's our index file. So now as far as setup is concerned, everything works. We just need to add some code here on the index file. So the first thing is to add a layout equals no. And the reason I want to do that is because I do not want to use the layouts now. And because I'm not using the layouts, right here I have to create the entire HTML code. So let me create that really quick. So this is my code. And now I'm going to run this program. To run it, I'm going to go to debug and then start without debugging. And here's my Hello World program. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.